Hi Tribe, welcome back for your abundance reading. If you're wanting to look at the romance reading, it is in a separate folder on my YouTube account. Now, if you are needing a booking, you can go to the link directly below. I have emergency readings during the silly season. Merry Christmas for this month and a Happy New Year. Also, if you are wanting to um, look at the extension rating, for 2019, it's purchasable via the website. Now, those of you who are new, welcome. And we'll get into your reading. Now, the energy in your mind is, you know, you're in that energy. You're like, come on, let's celebrate. Let's just shake off this stress. Let's move through this month. Now, it can be that you're going to have a few decisions this month. It can be that you're fantasizing about all the options or all the things that you can do, all the events uh going back down memory lane in some shape or form now some of you will be meeting with old colleagues uh people that you haven't seen in a long time maybe having some time out and travel i'm sensing an energy of travel for some of you now this feels more i need to see this person or that person so this can be really working hard this year and feeling you need some downtime and actually getting away and travel directly connected to it now, the obstacles can be some jealousy connected to you actually having an ability. For some of you, I'm seeing some surprise funds come to you and the ability. Some of you, I don't like saying it. If you, um, I can't say it. There might be some wins. I'll say that. So I do feel an energy where people are like, oh, it's not fair. You know, it's this luck that's around you at the moment. So... You know, keep the energy open, but I do feel there's going to be some unexpected gifts or wins um, for you at an emotional level. It can be family, you know, it's just saying, hey, we want you to come and visit us, we'll pay if they are living abroad. Now, on the other side in your mind, you're like, "Is yeah, should I, shouldn't I? You're trying to keep balance, and it might be that you think you don't have a choice, because you've got to be at work or you, you can't get away or you can't afford a bit. The universe is giving you an aspect of that back. So you're looking at it. It could be very much in your mind a 3D obstacle that you're undecided about what to do, where to go, how to handle it. Some of you may have several employment opportunities that you'll be considering or you're considering dynamics of what you'd like to do, you know, in 2019. Now, when it comes to what you can do, Meditate if you're tired, recoup because it feels like you're overwhelmed. This can be from the 3D situation, your budget could be overwhelmed, but you know, it could be your energy where you're thinking, Gosh, you know, I work so hard, or I'm trying to get things off the ground, and there's the pinch connected to it, but you're really wanting to celebrate. Now, what you're not seeing is there is a fresh start coming for you, and it is at a financial level, and I'm feeling it's good frequency. It can be many of you are joining with a company, a new company, and there can be partnerships for some of you. There can be more contracts coming through, and, and the, key to the, the key to the issue is coming. It's very close. But again, try and keep this frequency of concern of somebody else's getting something that you want, don't get triggered because I'm saying there's another one coming and it's actually worth more. So if somebody kind of swoops in and takes the position that you were going through for, don't worry. Don't worry. Because what you're not seeing is there's this fresh start. Now, it is going to be a change of plans. It might take you by surprise. But you have been going through a transformation and the transformation is also happening in your career and finances. In the first week, you may feel, you know, concerned about, you know, feeling grounded. Is everything going to be okay? What's happening? <sighs> Things that are passionate are coming to you, okay? So the tools you're going to have can be a, a, a love interest helping you during this time. And it can be at a verbal level, emotional, or you physically partnering. It doesn't have to be at a love level. Having partnerships with um, businesses, in order to move your current financial situation forward. It can be that you're wanting to spend money on a partner, but you're not feeling as grounded due to financial constraints, but there's a few messages coming through. Now, in the second week, you're really being very tame with any splurges. 
um, and, and not feeling as, what would the word be, thrifty. And again, you're being cautious about where you're putting your energy to at a financial level, at an emotional level, um, as an investment, because I feel you need to meditate. Now, by the third week, I am feeling you are communicating your truth connected to a road you wish to walk down, how you feel about perhaps if somebody is giving you money and they are offering you to come on board. It can be some of you are actually um, having cash given in a sense for you to relocate to have this business venture for some of you. But I do feel that the communication is delayed in coming through and when it does, it can be movement forward. And this is where by the fourth week, moving into the new year, you're feeling very grounded. Now these energies can flow in over to January. I'm pretty sure we have a lunar eclipse, so stay grounded. What's supporting you is everything that's happening right now is a change for the better. Okay, be it you may not feel grounded, move through the frequency. If there's a delay, it's for a reason. If you're taming your expenditure, again, it will affect the change for the better. By the third week, when you communicate um, and you receive this communication and it is moving your financial future forward and this is going to get to a point where it's going to make you feel more grounded in a stable environment. And it can be some of you are actually wanting to um, have a home and you're, you're trying to move to it, but due to uh, delays, it's affected that dynamic. Now, what is guiding you? Again, keep away from anyone who is... Um, putting rubbish in your air connected to a lack of movement in your journey. The lack of choices are there for a reason, but they're there to benefit you. So anything that's being taken from you, anything that's transforming, so to speak, and you feel the doors closed, it is temporary and the information is coming in. Now, as I said, we have had the Venus retrograde. That has really taken um, us to a next level when we are looking at what, what level we wish to invest into situations at an emotional and spiritual level. I feel some of you might have really wanted to um, change the way you were dealing with situations. How do I put it? The realisation of your actual worth and you're really wanting to do something that's going to make you directly passionate and unless it's giving you something at an emotional, spiritual value and you're really passionate about it, this can actually be a position you've applied for or a promotion and you're like, I really want this position. Um, keep the heart chakra clear, do some meditation um, in that chakra zone. And it's going to help you accept the worthiness of it. Do not get triggered if it doesn't come through right away because I am seeing delays. It doesn't have to be it's the same person or the same company that you're working with. It, the delay is going to be temporary and it can be from another provider. When it comes to the aspect of money coming back in, again, there's a slight delay, but it is going to start flowing back in again, be it you're employed or not. Money is coming back in. Okay. Now, you, you aren't nurturing yourself in some shape or form. It may be all work and no play. You're feeling that you're unable to do certain things due to the financial component, but I think the key is very much to um, have a bit of time out. And, you know, it's the people around you that are going to directly support you and help you. And, again, I was mentioning family. Some of you are what some of your families are white lighting you, be it they're on the other side. Um, so, you know, my thoughts and love and prayers are with you. But others of you, I feel you are protected by your guides and they're helping you move forward in whatever predicament you are in right now. Now, as I said, if you are wishing to make a booking, the link is below Please have a very safe Christmas and a happy new year. Hope to see you soon. I'll still be live on YouTube during the silly season. And otherwise, I'll see you in the new year.